G'day, James Cullen from Stones Corner Marine, and today I've got the uh, opportunity to show you through a CJ 550 Vision. Now this is not any Vision, this Vision is actually loaded with options from the factory, and, and I'm really excited to show you through some of those options. Now the 550 Vision is built on the Samurai hull, that's CJ's deep V, large reverse try and hull, cuts through the water nicely and offers maximum stability. Now, the 550 Vision here is powered by the Yamaha 130 horsepower full stroke output. 130 horsepower, in my opinion, on this boat is a sweet spot for the 550 hull. 550 hull is maximum horsepower rated at 150, but certainly through my experience, and I've owned a couple of the 550s uh, through the business here, and, and I certainly have always fit the 130 and had really good performance all round, family all fishing on board, um, and that's what this gentleman's opted for. A couple of things on this boat, we've got a two-tone paint job, so we've got the white side sheets, with a pipeline uh, transom in inside, I, uh, and that includes the console. I really think that sets off, it's something unique. I hadn't thought about a white and pipe before, uh, but I, I actually look, think it looks pretty sharp. Okay, the CJ Samurai hull, as I said, it's a deep V reverse triumph hull. It also includes a full high back pod, two large duck boards, and a, a dive ladder with easy access. I'm gonna walk up there, we're gonna go through the dive board, let's have them take a look on board this boat. Come with me. Right, uh, a couple of things I just want to point out on this vision uh, is it's option with the Relax T-Top. Now, when you get a T-Top from the CJ factory, these boats reinforced under the floor uh, and the console to, to take this T-Top. T-Top certainly sets off the look of this boat. It's very stylish in design. It's got good sized pipe for uh, ease of hold on. It offers some rod storage and also gets your anchor light up above your head. While we look at this console, I just want to point out that CJ's done a very good job with the modern center console, allowing for room both flush mount and, and bracket mount for large electronics. In this case, the customers opt for, opt for bracket mount favoring the, the starboard side, allowing for future fitment of a second unit. But as I said, these dashes are designed to also fit flush mount uh, units. And you'd probably get a, I'm gonna suggest, maybe a couple of 12s, but definitely 10s and under uh, flush mount, if that was your preference. In this boat, we've got the Garmin uh, 9, we've got the Yamaha touchscreen display, the binnacle control, Hydraulic steering is standard on the Vision 550s. We've got a GME VHF radio with easy access to mic. And we've got a stress-free anchor winch control panel with still a lot of real estate to spare for future fitment of, uh, of gear, whatever that may be. The steering wheel's at a really good height. Throttle's at a, throttle's at a really good height. There's good vision above the console, but also a nice um, screen so when seated, you know, you're not copping all that wind in, in the face. It also protects the back of your units and, and the dash. Under the console, there is a storage shelf and lower floor storage. Certainly areas to uh, throw those loose items, whether they be flares, fire extinguishers, uh, map charts, rags, sunscreen, spare hats, etc. Behind the console we have here, the uh, factory optioned uh, flip-flop um, Esky seat. So this seat um, back pivots forward and aft, depending on where you want to seat. It's certainly wide enough for two people, it's very generous, and it's also a large capacity uh, Esky, um, 135 litres, and that's an IC Tech brand. Good quality Esky, good size, good seat, good height, good backrest support. One thing I will notice just standing here before I go on about the bait board, etc., is even with the large flip-flop seat, there is plenty of room around the floor space of this boat. There, there is more room than I, I perhaps would have thought in an in a 18 foot boat, but it, I just thought I'd point that out. We've also got a couple of storage side pockets on, on the starboard and, and port side. They always come handy for throwing loose items. And this boat has been fitted with the uh, three quarter fold down rear lounge. So nice thick cushioning, nice thick bum cushioning, folds down out of the way when fishing, folds up and offers a seat for a couple of people uh, or, or maybe three children. 
Okay, this is the deluxe CJ bait board. Um, four rod holders, plenty of knife and ply slots, two drink holders, and a large cutting surface with a shelf underneath for knife uh, and pliers, etc. Good stable, it's had a really good height actually. Uh, you know, you're not gonna be bending over to use it, it's actually had a good height. Um, as I've said in other videos, I'm six foot tall, uh, so I'm an average height person, and, and I think it's had a very good usable height. To the port of the boat, we have a large live bait tank, and that's plumb, and that's plumb from the factory. Moving forward, um, this boat has been fitted with alloy welded in rod holders. So this boat does come standard with the plastic rod holders, but it is an option at when ordering a boat to get welded in cast alloy rod holders. The advantage to them is longevity. All right, let's look at the front of the boat, see what's up here. So, that, so this boat here has had the factory option of this, the electric anchor winch mount. So in this instance, we've fitted a, a drum stress-free winch, and that's come with the strengthening and stiffening from the factory. And with, with that um, option, it coincides with getting the um, bowsprit and roller to suit a Sarka anchor. So as you see, it's got a large bowsprit, it's got the uh, pin to retain the Sarka anchor, and it's got modified rails. These modified rails also accommodate um, the provision and mounting of an electric motor, and that's what this pad is here. So the electric motor pads are standard on all Vision models. Um, it provides easy and uh, straightforward fitting of an electric motor. But in the meantime, if you don't have an electric motor, it also gives you easy access uh, on and off the front of the boat, maybe on that sandy beach, etc. Front of the boat here, there's plenty of storage. There's a couple of hatches actually, with, with plenty of storage. So there's storage one, there's storage two. It is a shared storage, just with two hatches. Uh, and this storage area is generally used uh, with the electric motor. You generally get the um, two 12 volt batteries uh, wired in a 24 volt circuit for 24 volt electric or the single 24 volt battery in here with, with plenty of room spare to put other equipment such as uh, spare rope, fenders or the like. In regards to anything else on the boat, I would just, just say again, for an 18 foot boat or a 5.5 meter boat, it's very generous for size. If, if you're buying a boat, I'll certainly recommend that you don't just go off spreadsheet data don't just go on website data and then order a boat. I certainly suggest where possible, I know we're in difficult times with, with COVID and supply challenges, but I'd always encourage you to get off the couch, get down to your local dealer and, and check out these boats in person because they're a lot roomier and larger than a spreadsheet might indicate when you're sitting at home. Again, this is a very well optioned boat. It's towed on a Redco Sportsman trailer. It's powered by Yamaha. It's equipped with Garmin Electronics. It's got the Relaxin' T-Top. It's got the IC Tech X Esky. It's got Stress Free. These are all quality brands uh, and something that we're proud to distribute. If you want any more information on, on the CJ Visions or, or any CJ baits for that matter, please give the boys a call at the shop on 3397 9766 and ask for Troy, Glenn, Cliff. Any of those guys will be more than happy to put a package together for you. Thanks for watching.